In this video, I'm going to talk about headless pistons and how they can be used in breaking bedrock. So this is, right here I have two headless sticky pistons facing into one block. And this is what's typically used for breaking bedrocks, breaking bedrock with uh, headless pistons. Uh, so typically you either need two headless pistons for finishing, or for converting block 36 into a solid block. So you could need that twice. Or you could need a stick, headless sticky piston for a retraction in a place where you otherwise couldn't do a retraction, and then the other one for converting block 36 to solid block. But here is another way I thought of for doing this. Uh, you could have two headless sticky pistons, one facing into the other. Uh, this one could do whatever type of retraction it could be useful for in this block and then this hello sticky piston could convert this uh, sticky piston which is now block 36 back into a solid block and then if you scheduled another block event so if you did double block event scheduling in this one then it could perform that again in this block so I'm going to show a method to break bedrock using this that I found I will show the block events what happens in this contraption here so, with the tile ticks, we create a block event here, then here, then here, and then here. So now the block events are going to get processed. So we have one here. When this retracts, this uh, sticky piston is no longer powered, so it will create another block event here. So we have five. Uh, two, this gets processed. This retracts, and block event is created here for retraction so now we have block event 3 getting processed so this gets processed it starts retracting it creates a block 36 of a downward facing piston in this block and this piston gets deleted here uh, now block event 4 gets processed when this retracted this converted into a block 36 so this makes it a solid block now and now this gets processed again with the second block event it created which it can do because it's no longer block 36 so we have a block 36 with a downward facing piston right here so we instantly create a solid block here with that and then this gets processed and it breaks the bedrock so I can just show this broke the bedrock here uh, Myron Erio in a video in this last video about headless piston technology showed you could do this instant retraction here and basically this is just a way you could use that for breaking bedrock uh, you might think why is this really useful like you could make it much simpler with just two headless sticky pistons facing into one block uh, but here is an application for that so with this one lever switch we could actually use this in a tileable design here to delete a line of bedrock. So, see that solid there? We could actually instantly delete all of this bedrock here in this line, 15 long. So, you could also use this, uh, add, just add repeaters at the end and make it however long you want. Uh, ETA740 recently showed a video on a semi tileable bedrock breaker where you have to place this piston one at a time. Uh, so, this I don't know if this is potentially more useful than that because this might be kind of annoying to get a headless sticky piston right here under this one. Uh, you could potentially do what he did. He uh, converted this headless sticky piston to a headless sticky piston here using the 1.8 flickering behavior. Uh, you could potentially do that again to move that to here or you could use TNT blowing up in the air somewhere maybe with the obsidian covering this headless sticky piston to delete the heads here uh, obviously you have to create this one before this one because yeah you just have to do that basically so if anyone potentially thinks this is useful uh, here's this so I could show this here you could delete a very long line of bedrock at once. If you think that's useful, then there you go. Uh, here is a contraption using uh, this again that can delete 
or break bedrock without deleting any pistons. So this uses uh, double block vent scheduling on two pistons. Uh, this one right here and this headless sticky piston. So this gets uh, instantly retracted and then this retracts and we have block 36 right here and then we could use double block event scheduling to instantly make that into a solid block and then we could process the second block event here to delete bedrock so this could potentially be useful for someone I'll show it deleting bedrock here Yeah. so uh, next I'm going to show a behavior of headless sticky pistons that I haven't seen shown before but I thought it was interesting so here it is uh, in this contraption we have a regular piston here and then a headless sticky piston here. When I flip this lever, uh, this block event will get processed first for extension, and then this block event for retraction will get processed second. But I want you to see what happens here, so pay attention. As you can see, this uh, block instantly got moved over here. You might think that's kind of weird, but it actually makes sense. Uh, so. Yeah, it's basically the same as either zero ticking or one ticking a sticky piston. It will you'll get the uh, block dropping effect two blocks in front of it. So when this block event gets processed, it creates uh, block 36s all right here of these three blocks, and then this block event for retraction will get processed. And if there is a block two or a uh, block 36 two blocks in front of a piston that was created by a block extension event um, it has to be extension and then this piston receives a block retraction event then it will instantly create uh, or will inst instantly convert this block 36 into a solid block um, next I want to show here is that uh, as you hopefully know if a block uh, retraction event for a piston happens then there's a block 36 right in front of it uh, no matter what kind of block 36 it will instantly uh, drop that block which basically means that it converts it from block 36 into a solid block uh, if we use if we use what I just showed you here where this uh, block can that would be right here uh, will get converted to a solid block and this one could, could get converted to a solid block then we could actually instantly convert two block 36's into solid blocks using just one headless sticky piston so this block event gets processed first then this one so we had a block 36 of an iron block here and then one here and then this gets processed so it drops two blocks at once so you could with one headless sticky piston you could drop two block 36's and might think that's kind of not really useful at all but in this contraption here I actually made a way to delete two bedrock blocks uh, with only three headless sticky pistons in this contraption so one two three we have three headless sticky pistons and this contraption will delete this bedrock right here and the bedrock under this piston right here so I can show that see this bedrock got broken and this one right here so in this contraption we delete bedrocks that are diagonally one block from each other uh, like you can't I, I didn't think of a way to delete two like bedrocks that are right next to each other underneath the contraption because this piston right here like has to face this way and it deletes it's the piston that deletes the bedrock here and it couldn't delete one facing downward because you can't have a downward facing piston like that that was extended into bedrock but here you could delete two bedrock blocks with only three headless sticky pistons uh, normally you always or you basically always need two headless sticky pistons uh, to delete one bedrock block but you can delete two with only or you could delete a bedrock block with only one and a half headless sticky pistons in this contraption uh, it's not really useful for survival because you gotta have the diagonal bedrocks but I thought it was interesting to show anyways 
Uh, next, I want to talk about, well, I w currently I'm working on a automatic, or a bedrock, or a flying bedrock breaker that doesn't delete any pistons. Uh, Myron Erio said he was going to work on this for a uh, 1.11 version, but he says he's going to be busy for a while, so I said I would give it a shot. Uh, I actually started on it before, but I stopped because I think I, th I thought of this uh, way, which is slightly easier to break bedrock without using uh, or without deleting any pistons. So you could actually have two headless sticky pistons, one on this side, one on this side, and then just have one sticky piston that retracts these two blocks through those and then you don't need to like pull out one sticky piston and push another in so I'm probably going to use something like this for my flying bedrock breaker for 1.11 uh, that deletes no piston so yeah this is this doesn't use any of the uh, double headless sticky pistons facing into each other thing that I showed earlier but I thought I'd show it so I can delete this bedrock right here uh, so that's pretty much it. Bye-bye.